From the time Georgetown University opened its doors in 1789, it has founded a reputation based on academic and athletic excellence. As the oldest Jesuit university in America, Georgetown has become synonymous with football at the highest level. In 1997, the Georgetown University football team became yet another example of that tradition. 1997 was a breakthrough year for the Georgetown University football program. As a team, the Hoyas secured their first ever Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference Football League title with a perfect 7-0 mark. The Hoyas also established their place in the history books by garnering the school's first bowl appearance in 46 years and compiling the most wins in a season since 1940 with eight. These achievements were made possible by the leadership of the first senior class to complete all four years under the direction of fifth year head coach, Bob Benson. And then the seniors wrap it up for the seniors. The group of 16 seniors, spearheaded by captains Mike Lynn, Steve Pogorelic, Rob Rosenthal, and Bill Ward have helped set a new standard and establish Georgetown a presence in Division I AA football. As the Hoyas set out to continue building a tradition of academic and athletic excellence, 1997 turned out to be business as usual. Seniors Steve Iorio, Ryan Johnson, Reed Roberti, and Joe Tedisco, as well as sophomores Jim Gallagher and Bill Rutkowski earned academic All-American honors during the 1997 campaign. The addition of these six student athletes brings the total to 21 Hoya football players who have received academic All-American honors since Benson's arrival on the hilltop in 1993. On-field excellence was demonstrated by the selection of 18 Hoya players to the 1997 All-Mac teams. In five short years, Benson has coached an astonishing 58 All-League picks. It seemed as if no record was safe as the Hoyas took the field in 1997. A typically dominant Georgetown defense continued to rewrite the record books and a relentless offensive attack wrote a chapter of its own. This fact was highlighted when the Hoyas took their hard-hitting style to new heights by forcing two-time defending Mac champs Duquesne into a school record eight turnovers. The offense and special teams wasted little time chiming in with 24 first half points as the Hoyas rolled to their first ever victory over Duquesne while clinching their first MAC title. The Georgetown defense that has become known for stifling attacking style furthered that reputation as they finished second in the nation in turnover margin and forced a total of 37 miscues. Of those thefts, a school record 25 came by way of interception. Anchored by senior Steve Pogorelic, Mike Fiorito, and Jeff Hine, the Georgetown defensive line continued its stingy play against the run. Aided by junior Mike Halen and sophomores Matt Salito and Paul Miller, the Hoya defense left little room for opposing runners to move the ball. A linebacking core that featured senior Mike Lynn and juniors Mike Melchionda and Anthony Pizzaruso demonstrated equal mastery of both the run and pass. With 10 sacks and four interceptions between them, this group kept opposing quarterbacks off balance and guessing all season long. Once again, senior strong safety Dennis Hermanstein and senior cornerback Reed Roberti led the way for a talented Hoya secondary that finished ranked seventh nationally against the pass. Roberti's stellar play found him ranked among the nation's elite in interceptions. With strong play from returning players, junior free safety Brian Dwyer and sophomore cornerback Jim Gallagher and strengthened by the addition of speedy junior free safety Anthony Bartolomeo, the Hoyas presented few downfield opportunities for opposing quarterbacks. Senior cornerback Brian Beakers bolstered the group with timely play off the bench. 
It was the Georgetown offense, however, that did the majority of the damage to the Hoya record books in 1997, with numerous career and single season records falling on a weekly basis. It was a record-breaking trio of seniors that set the pace for the Hoya offense in 1997. Quarterback Bill Ward and running back Steve Iorio and Joe Tedisco set countless records as Georgetown steamrolled its way to the MAC title. Ward's steady play and clutch passing helped him establish 14 new school records. Most notably among them are career marks for passing yards and touchdown passes with 4,555 and 44. Iorio and Tedisco helped balance the Georgetown attack by providing outstanding ground support. Iorio led the Hoyas in rushing while establishing himself as Georgetown's all-time leading ground gainer with 3,243 yards. His game-breaking ability as both a runner and receiver helped him set the school mark with 186 career points. Iorio's consistency was complemented by the timely play of Tedisco. As Georgetown's third all-time leading rusher, Tedisco's big playability was demonstrated against St. Peter's as he rushed for 143 yards on nine carries, notching a school record 15.9 yards per attempt. These three were enhanced by the play of punishing junior fullback Scott Paltos, versatile junior running back Charlie Turner, and fleet-footed Akil Stinson. Though the records are credited to other players, a deep Georgetown offensive line helped make them possible. With four all-Mac selections, the offensive line pounded opponents on a regular basis. The experience of senior guard Steve Ozeranek and Ryan Johnson provided the foundation for the Hoyas offense, while junior tackles Skender Derty and Sean Brady and sophomores Robert Quigley, Bob Lenahan, and Scott Wolf contributed to Georgetown's success. Equally responsible for the success of the Georgetown passing game were a talented core of receivers, led by the play of senior wide receiver Rob Rosenthal and senior tight end Greg Wachinski. Mr. Reliable, Rob Rosenthal, established a reputation for always being at the right place at the right time. With 2,000 yards receiving and 128 receptions, Rosenthal worked his way to second on both all-time lists. Along with Rachinsky's physical play, senior Pat Castle and sophomore Bill Rutkowski demonstrated equal effectiveness as blocker and pass receivers. The story on the outside was the emergence of junior whiteout Matt Matamore. Along with junior Brett Diamond, sophomore Chris Jordan, and freshman Mike Matea, Garen Hester, and George Sumner, the Hoyas presented defenses with multiple threats. The Georgetown special teams received a surprising boost from freshman place kicker Peter Carbonara. Carbonara registered a school record with 27 extra points, and his two field goals were the difference in the season opener at Marist. With Carbonara's kicking, the punting of Charlie Turner, and the consistent play of both kickoff and punt coverage teams, Georgetown's special teams smothered the return efforts of opponents. Solid play from the Hoya returners helped Georgetown win the field position battle throughout the year. The Hoyas' season reached a pinnacle when sophomore John Cups blocked a Duquesne punt that junior Brian Dwyer returned for a touchdown. As the Hoyas sent a message to the MAC Conference that 1997 is just the beginning for the Georgetown football program.